Ray Scalacci here with the Santa Clarita International Film Festival. And I am very lucky to have the filmmaker, David Bradburn, the filmmaker of uh, Before You Woke. No, wait a minute, is it Before I Woke? No, Before You Woke. <laughs> before You Woke, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I just saw this a couple of nights ago and I was so impressed with the production values. Um, it, it's, and it's actually giving you like a, a, a flavor of what you can do. And you're to be very commended on this micro short because it is so hard to do a short, first of all, and get people captivated. But you have us captivated from the very beginning of this micro short, you know, under five minutes. Very, very impressive. Um, so let's, let's go into a little bit about how you came up with this and also that title, because some people won't catch that, you know, won't understand that. Sure. Um, so the way I came up with it, um, I was working with um, the stunt actors. And so I knew that I wanted to do a stunt piece and I knew what my budget was. So that certainly helped determine how long of a film we could make. And from there, I was just like the things I was thinking about at the time, because um, we shot this a few years ago. And so I was just thinking about that the process of waking up and in this sense, more of a political waking up um, and knowing who I was going to work with, the talent I was going to have in front of the camera, then the story just started to develop from there. Um, and I didn't, you know, there's not a lot of time for exposition because it's under five minutes. So you just have to kind of get in and give enough um, hints along the way of what sort of the backstory is. Um, so that's sort of where the, the background of the story came from. Okay. And the title. The title, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so you know, woke is certainly a, a, a term that has become more and more part of our lexicon, um, certainly in, in the recent years and in the political events. Um, and and part of that process, as an individual, you you have there's it's an active process. It's not like you just all of a sudden wake up to to you know the what's going on around you, and so. Um, it's playing on that notion of, you know, something happened before you are actually woke or before you actually wake up, you know, in, in the most literal sense, our alarm clock goes off, we wake up, something happened, right? And our, our act in that is we set the alarm clock. And so it could be sort of a coincidental thing, I forgot to turn it off, or it could be an active thing where I set it, now I'm awake. That's okay. That, that, that explains all because I was, uh, when, when I had seen it, I, I was going, okay, I really, really like this, but I don't get the title. But now that you've explained it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think- It, I think it, it other... makes total sense. And, and as I mentioned before, people of my generation are gonna look at it and go, oh, wait a minute, nobody's waking up in this, you know, <laughs> from <laughs> well, sleep. <laughs> if, you, if you look at it too, the, um, the first half is at night. So right. and then when we, we come out into the exterior, it's mm -hmm. as if dawn happens, right? So it is in, in, in sort of a traditional sense before the rest of us woke up, this is going on at night. Like these things are still moving while we're asleep. Wow, that's even deeper than I thought. <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting because when I was watching it, and I don't know why it was bringing me to mind of a film that I absolutely loved uh, called uh, Antebellum. Oh, did, yeah, yeah. Did you ever yeah, see they, that? Yeah, they, they came after me, so they must have uh, stolen my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago did you write this? Um, I think I wrote it in like 2015. Wow. Yeah, I think we, we shot this in 2016. Uh -huh. So it's it, it, wow. it's been around for a little bit. Okay. It, it, I'm just curious, how many festivals have you entered? Um, I think we screened in about probably 15, if okay. I remember off the top of my head. This, this is, we're really at the tail end of our festival run. Okay. Okay. And do you have, uh, I, I think you mentioned something about features coming up? I, I, I don't, I mean... I've got some feature scripts. I have a feature documentary that I will tell you is not very good. Um, and it's not for, it's not publicly available right now. Um, but no, I, even with this, I mean, I've got some films that I would like to turn into features. This one was really written as a standalone. If someone wanted to come along and see more, sure, I, I could come up with more of a story, but this really was, 
Um, I wanted to work with these stunt actors. I wanted to practice directing stunts and writing a stunt scene. Um, and I had, you know, some money that I could could put towards this project. Now, I'm just curious, how many how many times have you worked with stunt people? Um, I think twice. I want to say twice. So that was this was my first stunt film, and I've done another stunt film since then. That was your first stunt film. That's impressive. David, really I, I have to I have to give credit to Christian Lichty, who was our stunt coordinator, who um, I'm in Chicago. So he, he works on all the Chicago shows and has, you uh -huh. know, travels around the world to do films. So he's, you know, great at what he does. Um, and Kia Houston also did a great job as a, our stunt performer. So having professionals that know what they're doing makes a huge difference. Have you lived in Chicago all your life? I'm just curious. I have. I've lived within 40 miles of downtown my entire life. Okay, I was born in Skokie. Okay, yeah, I lived in Rogers Park. Uh, I've currently I'm in outside of the city now, but I used to live in Rogers Park for years. I'm just, I'm just curious. There's a couple of things really quick. Uh, this is on personal note. Did you um, do you remember Riverview? Sure. Oh wow! I never went, but I I I, I remember it. <laughs> oh okay 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 because I remember the bobs and I was dared to go on it. I would never go on the bobs. Yeah, no, I've never I've never been there. Okay, and uh, what about uh, Old Town? The, there was a place called the Pickle Barrel that was- Yes, I've been to the Pickle Barrel. I used to love that place as a kid. <laughs> oh God, I, I will tell you this, Chicago is great for their food. Yes. And they, they got some uh, really good filmmakers out of there too, including yourself. Thank you. So you're welcome, you're welcome. So, um, okay, so the, the people that are in it, they are stunt actors. Yeah, yeah, they both work professionally um, in the stunt world. Uh, both, I think, uh, are still are based in Chicago still. Um, but yeah, they they work professionally in the in stunts. And I'm going to guess that the scene stepping out into the snow that was actual snow and that wasn't man made. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so I guess I can say this now. We we totally stole that location. Those are the silos <laughs> over by. Uh, Damon Avenue. Um, there was a blizzard the night before we were going to film this. The, the script was originally written in the fall and we just for several reasons couldn't film in the fall. Uh, so the snow was a happy accident. Um, but like I said, it was it was freezing cold that day. It was one of the coldest days of the year. We had a huge snowstorm the night before and we just made it work. It was, uh, it, yes, it worked beautifully. I was like, wow, did he get lucky or did he do yes. that? And that he got got lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> but you took advantage of that too. You had some great scenes in there. And uh, the, okay, I I'm just going to guess that beautiful aerial shot, that was probably a drone, correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's just, uh, yeah, I'm just, once again, I'm taken by your film. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, is there anything you want to plug, a, a, a website or anything? Sure, yeah. My website is uh, forkthemand.com. Um, currently, I, we, we do have another film in the, the live screening at, at Santa Clarita, um, film yes, called Family. Screens on, it's called Family. Family. It's another micro short. I believe it screens on Sunday morning. Um, and then we are currently working on getting ready and raising money for a uh in my next short that is a dark comedy about testicular cancer called my best nut <laughs> <laughs> wow you, you just uh i have no words for that it's, i just had prostate surgery a little while ago so that hurts <laughs> i hope everything went well <laughs> no unfortunately it didn't oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and i'm i'm very lucky to be laughing about it right now so Oh, David, it's been an absolute pleasure. I wish you the best of luck. Thank people, you. Please see this film uh, and also seek David out and, and check out his other film, Family. Uh, I wish you all the best, David. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.